hello hello again youtube all right uh nice. here we are as we all know as we're all excited for akron is right around the corner as of recording this video akron comes out in like three days like for north america like two two three days she comes out like really late in the evening out here in north america so uh probably like 27th is probably like when people are gonna start being able to pull for her but there's a lot of there's been a lot of talks about how Akron's must pull Akron this Akron that, um, which don't get me wrong, I am probably the biggest Akron sim. Akron is the first character in like any gacha game I've played, like Honkai Star or Genshin, uh, Punishing Grey Raven. She's the first character where I'm like, all right, I'm 100% getting her and her light cone. Like I'm, I am an Akron oh, simp. I want, I'm going to invest the fuck out of her. I pre farmed everything for her. I'm like ready. I'm ready. I'm going to get her and her light cone, right? Which leads me to the question of who is a better pull, Akron or Aventurine? Now, even though I'm the biggest uh, Akron simp, right? It what may surprise you is I would actually say, like the TLDR of it is, I would actually say Aventurine might actually be more of a might be worth more for your account than Akron. Now, let me let, let me explain. All right. Now, first off, first, let me say this. I've always say this. First and foremost, the only thing that matters is whether or not you want the character, right? The only, that's the only thing that matters. Like you can be once I've said this all the time ago, all, all the time. You can be like 70 percent of the character, 70 percent of the shit in this game with Arlon. That, that's why that, you don't need any care. You don't need any of these characters, any of these five stars. You don't need them. You just don't. All right. I say this all the time, but you know, just to get that message across again. All right. So basically, who like who, who's worth more pulling, right? Now, but once again, also the other thing I'd say is there's not a character in, in this game that's a must pull. None of these characters are must pull, right? But um, if I were to say, if you're going for like, okay, I want to make my account stronger, uh, depending on who you have, right? Uh, my golden rule when it comes to you know, um, like just games in general, like especially with the gacha games where you have to spend money to pull for these characters. I would say the golden rule you also have to remember is when it comes to DPSs, they are the easiest to power creep. They are the easiest to power creep. Even looking at it right now, let's look at it right now. How many from the very beginning of the game, all the all the DPSs got power crept. Zila got power crept. I don't have Jing Yuan, but he got power crept. Uh, Kaka's probably gonna get power crept by Akron. That that's debatable, but Kaka will probably get um probably get uh power crept by Akron because Akron works well in dot teams because of the debuffs. You know, um Jing Liu surprisingly still hasn't been power crept, but she's coming. Yang Xing got power crept by Jing Liu. Fucking like DPSs are just the easiest to power creep. They just are because a deep one DPS is better. A DPS is better than the other one just because they do more damage, right? That's why DPSs are the easiest to power creep. So just keep that in mind. Obviously, it doesn't really matter because if I can use Yang Ching to beat ninety percent of the content in this game, it doesn't matter if I get Jing Liu or not, right? That's basically the moral of the story. But at the end of the day, DPSs are the easiest to power creep. And also, the worst thing about Akron is Akron is nihility right she's a nihility dps which is like the probably the worst path for her because she's a dps in a path where it's meant for debuffing it's meant for debuffing which means she's going to need the most investment out of any kid character in this game because realistically she only has like if you're free to play she only has like two options which is probably fermata and then like uh this one this will really see her only two free to play options. Her other ones are, um, like her other ones are all gotcha. Like, all her other light cones that she could use are gotcha. Right? It's because if you look here, we have, uh, I'll just go to fucking. All the other light cones are gotcha. So if you look at the light cones, you really only have good night sleep well. And then. People have talked about resolution uh shines as pearls. People have talked about this one, but uh based on like how her her um her traces are in her characters, things are worded, this is 
this doesn't really work for her either because the debuff doesn't count to her stacks so this doesn't really work for her either so really your only two options as a free to play are formata and then the uh, the the pentacone light cone this one or uh if you get into the guy everything else is gotcha like good night sleep well you could use um welt's light cone if you have it you could use what light cone if you have it and then um i think the other option was silver wolf's uh signature light cone those are really her only options because she's nihility that's why like you probably need her light cone well you you don't need it but she'll like the the difference in damage from her having her light cone is just that big that's why like she's she needs the most investment and that's like your downfall and like a lot of people are talking like how she increases her quality of life because of like how how everything works but like like the insta killing is really cool like i'm wrong her her being able to insta kill everything is really cool but i'm not gonna pull for her character because she makes sim union runs a little bit faster like i'm not doing that well obviously like i'm doing that for acheron because i love acheron but if it was anybody other care if it was any other character i wouldn't do it right so i'm just talking about like she needs a lot a lot of fucking investment that's the biggest issue with Acheron, right? She needs a lot of fucking investment. And then, which leads me as to my other thing of like, why I would say Aventurine is probably a little bit worth more as for your accounts for two main reasons. Number one, a sustainer will always do better for your account than a DPS because there are a lot of other DPSs in this game and a lot more and a lot more to come out. So if you're talking, if, if, so looking at your sustainers if let's say let's say you only have like one five star sustainer. let's say you only have fushuan i think eventually would probably be better for your account um uh let's say you only have like links or maybe even only luocha i think eventually would probably be better for your account because sustainers will do more for your account in the long term than a dps is whereas um uh and here's the thing this is probably this is probably the stocking thing so eventually is preservation right and i've always had like sort of like a sort of like a not a very good take on preservation because preservation is just shields right preservation is just oh i'm gonna oh, i'm gonna give you a shit ton of shields right and i thought no there weren't a lot of the preservation characters that were good in my opinion other than Fushuan, like Fushuan was like the only like good preservation unit. But even then, she doesn't use shields. She's she isn't she isn't about shields. She's about damage mitigation, right? So I didn't think preservation was like that big of an issue. Like I thought, you know, like abundance was a lot better at sustaining your team than preservation. Other than Fushuan, because she's she's just different. Fushuan is just built different. But that all changed like three or four days ago. That all changed like three or four days ago, thanks to this dude thanks to this blonde haired blue eyed uh straight looking out of beverly hills looking motherfucker this dude changed my opinion because this dude is the sole reason why i was finally able to beat golden gears 5 i i've i've been trying since this since that version came out since that game came out i could not beat it i no matter what i did i was like bro am i sucking that bad why can't i beat this fucking and then i I randomly got this guy in the, um, the standard banner, right? I just pulled it and I got him because, you know, I have every character except for fucking Bronya. This game just will not give me, give me Bronya. Yes, I am still salty about that. But this dude changed my whole opinion of preservation because one of the biggest reasons why Fushuan is like so good is because she, she guarantees that you won't get one shot, right? That's why in harder content, a lot of people will use Fushuan over like Luocha or even Hua Hua because fushuan will just guarantee that you won't get one shot but here's the thing she doesn't guarantee it you're you're far less likely you're far less likely with uh fushuan right you're far less likely with fushuan but um she doesn't she doesn't guarantee it because she just takes all the damage right so she can so if she gets one shot then you're fucked whereas this dude he gives you shield that stacks over your health, which makes it even less likely than Fu Shuan that you're going to get one shot. But the problem is, is that in order to get those shields, you need his ultimate. So in order to do that, which is why this why which is why Japar wasn't really that good of a preservation, because he couldn't give you shields unless you use his ultimate. And that's why, like, you need an energy regen rope on him because it you need you like you just need like all uh, his, his ultimate up, like almost all the time to guarantee his shields. But if you have his shields, they're just so the survivability is just so much 
higher than even with Fushuan, right? This guy changed my opinion of uh, preservation like completely, right? So add that to uh, so then add that to Adventurine who can just give you shields with his um with his skill. He just gives everybody shields with his skill, and on top of that, his skill uh, his shields stack when he does his follow up attack. So every time his follow up attack happens, it uh his follow up attack just gives you shields right and then on top of that on top of that something once again something i don't think a lot of people i haven't surprisingly haven't seen a lot of people talk about his follow-up attack over caps meaning if his follow-up attack has seven stacks right eventually his follow-up attack has seven stacks if you're at six stacks right and then um well this could change this could change because this is once again this is pre-release so this could change but as i'm recording uh Eventually, uh, follow up stack over stacks. I mean, if you have six stacks, right, six out of the seven, and then an enemy does an o AOE attack, and then uh, three of your enemies, three of your allies get hit, it'll overcap to nine. He'll do the follow up attack, then it'll, it'll reset to two. So that means you start with two two stacks, meaning you could get the follow up attack faster, uh, a lot faster than um than it would if you uh, reset to zero, right? That's why I like you could use you could use uh Aventurine not just as a, a sustainer but as a sub dps right you can use it as a sub dps with um with the follow up set you can use uh you could use uh uh Aventurine with a as a sub dps sustainer with his with his follow up uh with the follow up attack set right and that's something we actually don't have like as far as i know we don't have any sub we don't have any sustainer sub dps yeah we just don't which is very unique to Aventurine, right? So if you take it, you take into account he needs a lot less investment. He's a sustainer slash sub DPS, and um, and the, uh, what's it called? God, my my brain is gone. And he can trigger his follow up attack faster than a lot of other characters. Like I think he can do it faster than Himiko, depending on the content. He can do it faster than a Herda. He can do it faster. I think he can even do it faster than. Well, once again, it's pre-release, but I think he'd probably be doing faster than um faster than uh Dr. Ratio. Right? I think that that's I think that's I think in theory that's how fast he can do his follow-up attack if I'm right about the the overcapping. It's just from what I saw in the live stream, it overcapped, and I'm just so hyped about that. So I think for your account in general, and I think Aventurine might be better for your account. Brown, just to, just I, that, that's just what i think right based on because akron just needs way too investment way too much investment to function properly right because you don't have many options as for lycone she's um team wise you need you need other nihility characters like right like if you don't know like i've always i think i've said this before where i think black swan is going to be like her best in slot partner because um if because Black Swan's Arcana uh, can restack every time you use it. So if that triggers the stack, for, so if um, if uh, Black Swan's Arcana's restacking can trigger getting a stack for Akron's ultimate, then Black Swan and um, and Akron are like two, are like they're like they're even better pairs than Kafka and Black uh, Black Swan. But like if that's the case, you need another Nihility unit for Akron, and then you need uh, like probably even two. Probably two nihilities and then the uh, sustainer, right? And that's why that's why I've said that's where Kafka's problem is as well. Where Kafka needs other units to be good, right? And that's just like, I, it's just Akron needs way too much investment to be saying that she's a must pull because she just isn't. Akron needs way too much investment too much investment to be considered a must pull, right? But that's just my opinion. All right, I could be wrong. We'll find out when the when the banner hits, but that's just my opinion. I think eventually it might be worth more for your account. And then Akron, but we shall see. Um, I could be wrong about that, but uh, but actually, actually, no, I'm not wrong about that because Akron's the best, and I fucking love her, and she will be the best person on my account, and I'll have the number one Akron in the entire goddamn world. Thank you.